Welcome to Port Edward, a popular holiday town on the south coast of KZN. In this video, we're going to show you our beautiful double story accommodation right on the beachfront. We will take you with to Beaver Creek Coffee Estates, the Red Deserts, the Riverside Cocktail Bar at Wild Coast Sun, and Mac Bananas. So keep watching if you want to join the adventure. We arrived to this beautiful accommodation last night. It's a double story standalone unit and it's called Sea Verge, rightly so, because it's going to be really hard to get closer to the ocean. It's a three bedroom unit. Our friends Dave and Candy actually invited us to come with them for the weekend. So we'll show you around very quickly and then we're going to go out exploring Port Edward. But you have to see this view first. Check this. Sea Verge is a bigger complex, it has many units, but you can book this unit separately on booking.com. One of the most popular spots when coming to Port Edward is visiting Beaver Creek. It's a coffee farm and they have a stunning coffee shop, so that's where we're going first. I saw that you can also do coffee tours, so we'll just put the details to their website in the description. But coffee time, let's go. We just ordered coffees. I got a cappuccino, grand cappuccino, and Craig ordered the bottomless coffee. So did Dave. And uh, Candy also got a cappuccino. Are you excited? Yes. I'm yes. more excited for food though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I ordered the bottomless coffee for only 28 Rand, and you get to have as much coffee as you want from all the different blends. You've got an espresso blend, Ed's special blend, Trans Sky Gold, House Blend. Today the cappuccino is actually made by the Ed's special blend. I went with the Transcard Gold. Dave? I'm going with the Akaweni. Our food just arrived. It's brunch time and I ordered the chickpea stack, which looks amazing. It's vegan actually. There's chickpeas, mushrooms, peppers, lots of things. And then Craig ordered the... Coffee rub, beef burger. It looks incredible and it's going to be messy. Dave's got the same thing, so we'll see who can be less messy. I think we made a good choice. And candy got a tramazine, which is always a good option. <laughs> Our brunch was absolutely delicious. It was so flavorful and the portions are huge. So we're pretty stuffed now. We decided to buy some Beaver Creek coffee beans. If you come here, you definitely have to grab some for yourself. Their coffee is so good. So there's a cute little shop here as well where you can get yoga, coffee, biscuits, lots of, it looks like homemade goods. They're running a special where you can buy six smaller bags for 375. And now you can mix up the blends if you want. Now we're going to get lots of different blends. So let's we also found out they make liqueurs here and you can taste for free, which is pretty cool. Good taste? I'll have another one. <laughs> <laughs> a few things you can do here at Beaver Creek is you can get coffee and food. You can also do a coffee tour that happens every day at 12 o'clock. There's also trails here. They've got Clearwater Trails and Beaver Creek Trails for mountain bikers and runners, which is really cool. I've run a lot of these trails in the past when I did work close by here. And we can really suggest getting the bottomless coffee when you come here for 28 Rand and you can try all the different blends here at Beaver Creek. We're now going to go on to our next adventure here in Port Edward. Let's go. We drove a few minutes down the road to come to the Red Desert Nature Reserve 
and apparently it's the world's smallest desert. We haven't been here before, it's a 30 rand entry fee and apparently it's like a four minute walk to get there. So let's go see. We are close to the Red Desert. We can see it in the distance, check. According to legend, this is the site of an alien landing, but we tend to agree with the more believable theory that the Red Desert came to be because of cattle overgrazing. In our research, we also found that there is another desert based in Canada claiming to be the smallest desert in the world. Let us know in the comments what you think. But for now, it's on to our next stop. We have come to the Wild Coast Sun and we went right down to where the river is and we found this cool riverside cocktail bar and we're just having something cool to drink after our time in the hot red desert we just found a price list of activities there's boat cruises kayaking supping quite a lot so definitely worth visiting We are really enjoying the vibe here at the riverside. They have these lounges on beach sand. The river is right here and we can spot a few of the boats where you can do boat cruises on. They also have live music starting at about 3 o'clock. It's really nice. We had a great time at the riverside. We forgot to tell you that it's 20 Rand to get into the Wild Coast. Just 20 Rand per car. I think we're gonna head home now. We've had quite a busy day out. It's really hot and we're pretty tired. <laughs> We just got back to our apartment and we quite hot and tired so we're gonna rest a little bit and then we'll probably brighten up and we'll probably only see you again tomorrow. Sadly, it's our last day in our beautiful accommodation. So we thought we'd just give you a few tips if you want to book this place for yourself. Firstly, try and get here as early as you can. We only got here after sunset on Friday and you really want to make the most out of your time here. It's a three bedroom house. So you definitely also want to come here with friends and the house itself is definitely big enough for everyone to share. There's two bathrooms in there. It's fully self-catered. So we actually planned out our menu ahead of time. But if you don't do that, there's a spa just around the corner where you can buy all of your groceries. It's really nice. There's also a few takeaway places. And if you do come in the hot summer, make sure to bring some mozzy spray if you're going to sit outside and have a bra. You can find 10 Seaverage on booking.com. The link will be down below. And we would highly recommend staying in this beautiful house right on the beach. We're at Mac Bananas now, which is about 10 kilometers from Port Edward. So it's the perfect stop if you're on your way back from your weekend away, or if it's 
a rainy day or if you've had too much sun you can come here there's so much to do but we are actually coming here just to eat something just check out their website to see just how much you can actually Mac Banana is famous for pancakes. The savory or sweet? Pancakes. Yeah. Our pancakes just arrived. They look so delicious and it's quite big. Craig went with the chicken curry I have the mango and banana and then Dave and Candy is doing they're doing like a half seas of each one and they have peppermint crisp and banana caramel yeah very excited <laughs> Our pancakes were so delicious. If we had to do it again though, I think it would be a good idea to share a savory pancake and then afterwards share a sweet pancake so you have best of both. But now it's time to go home. We had such a great time in Port Edward. Thank you so much for watching. We also found they make liqueur, no liqueurs. We also found out they make liqueur, liqueur. Ah. <laughs> what was I saying? I just had it. Through the desert on a horse with no name. She's great, okay. You must walk out. Yeah, follow your path. <laughs> Just skipping in the desert. <laughs> Cheat. Okay, <laughs> go. And if you enjoyed this video, we also think you'd enjoy this video we made about the Waffle House in Ramsgate. So here's the link and check it out. <laughs>